Hi, welcome to another video. So this is a quick comparison of the AMD FX8350. It's an 8-core AMD processor running at 4 gigs. This was my son's old PC. He's now got a high-spec, uh, high-end i5. If you haven't seen my other videos, I've got these 6700K. So I did a video test the other day comparing 8 gigs against 16. And there wasn't really any difference on the i7 6700K. I've taken 8 gigs out of my machine, put it on this old Gigabyte motherboard. This is a Gigabyte 990FXA UD3. Latest drivers, my Samsung Solid State did not like having the ASUS motherboard taken off and stuck on this Gigabyte. It kept on coming up some ASUS driver was causing Windows to crash. So I've done a fresh install on a serial ATA hard drive. So it's a bit unfair, I guess, because the serial ATA hard drive, you know, is obviously slower than the solid state, but from my memory test, the high disk usage only comes at the end. So I think this is still a fair test. An eight core AMD running at four gigs compared to the i7 four core running at four gigs. So that's the eight gigs of RAM. Hopefully you can see that there. Corsair RAM, fresh install of Windows 7, GeForce 750 just with a gig of RAM. And as with the memory test, I've got that same, something like a 1.2 gig video. I'm gonna convert it up to YouTube 4K. Right, so the time on this PC, 11, 12. I'll wait for this to get to 13. Right, that's on 13, start. So as I say, this is a fresh install of Windows 7. I've disabled the updates. Fresh install and media encoder, got it on the trial thing here. And we'll see how long it takes. So if I just pull up the task manager, Windows 7, you can see this is the eight cores. So obviously the task manager in Windows 10 shows you the disk usage as well, but take my word for it when I did the memory test you get a high disk write at the end, but you need all the processing power to convert that video. So we'll see how this eight core AMD compares to the four core i7 6700K. And you can see that like 94% it is peaking. Well, so it's 30 minutes past 11. I'll come back when this is nearly finished. Well, we're coming up to 40 minutes, so it's 11.52. And you can see the elapsed time, nearly 40 minutes. So today's current i7 6700K would be just about finishing this video now. But what you have to bear in mind, this AMD, what is it? AMD FX 8350, eight core, four gig, was built some at least three years before this i7 6700K. So it was a fast processor for its day. Intel took three years to come up with a processor that would sort of piss all over it. On my current Windows 10, the i7 would now be writing to the disk. And hopefully you can see here, we've still got roughly 23 minutes to go. But so, to reiterate, this current processor, this AMD, was built in two that were released, 2012. So in its day, very good processor. I'm all for AMD bringing out their Ryzen it will give uh, Intel a run for their money, uh, hopefully reduce processor costs. Also, that's talking of cost, the AMD is sort of half the price of the Intel. Right, this media encoder is about to finish, 27 seconds left. And hopefully you can see that we're 16 minutes past 12 now. We started at 13 minutes past 11. So 16 minutes is gonna be 17 probably when it finishes. Call it an hour, that's just over an hour. And you'll see the elapsed time, one hour, three minutes. So this AMD FX 8350 with eight cores, four gigs, from uh, 2012, early 2012, is one third slower than today's sort of Intel 6700K running at four gigs. And hopefully you can see that it's actually stopped uh, stopped counting, so it's actually finished. This is now where it writes to the hard disk, so this would be an unfair disadvantage because this is a serial ATA hard drive, not solid state. So yeah, from 
40 minutes on a 6700K to one hour, three minutes. So you could say the 6700K, 33% faster, roughly, or slightly more than that. But as I say, I can't stress enough, this AMD 8350 came out in 2012. So for its time, it was good. So you probably can't hear the fan now. It's slowed down, finished doing all its work. So yeah, for its time, very good processor. If you're contemplating upgrading from the FX8350, uh, to the 6700K, yeah, maybe wait till the Ryzen is fully out in the marketplace. See how, hopefully, the Intel prices will tumble. If not, just go for AMD Ryzen. Hopefully, this has helped. Thank you very much.